Beble PTG HF and I have it in two colors. It should replace the old PTG Basic, but is it really better? Let's find out. Hello, welcome back. I already tested on this channel all Bambole PTG filaments and this is the newest version, PTG HF. Currently I have no information about this except the HF means high flow, so properly it is optimized for printing on higher speeds, which was one of the limitations of the basic version. By the way, the PTG basic will be discontinued after it will be sold out. And I'm curious if this HF has an improvement only on printing on higher speeds or it has some advantages in mechanical properties too. As you can see, it is available in two colors, so we have some color comparison too. But I have a small problem because uh, I'm recording this two days before my traveling holiday. And after I'm back from my holiday, in two or three days, they are expecting this video on the date of the announcing. And for my creep test, actually, I need seven days where I'm measuring these test objects every day. Well, this will be a difference, so I measure only first two days and after eight or nine days. And uh, for better comparison, I will have their test objects from the PETG Basics and PLA Basics. Currently, they are not available in the Bamboo Studio. They will be after the announcing date, but unofficially, I got the profiles for them. So basically, I will use the different settings for these filaments in Bamboo Studio. From the print settings on the box, we have the print temperature, which is between 230 and 260 degrees Celsius. But of course, I will use the different settings in the Bamboo Studio. Oh, and it arrived as a refill kit, so this means I have to place them myself to the spool. I'm not sure how Bamboo Lab knows that I have empty spools, because I had only two. This one is for drying on up to 70 degrees Celsius. I'm placing the sticker on it. And this one is for the drying up to 90 degrees Celsius. But for this it is not important, I'm using out of the box without drying. The only thing I don't like with this refill kit is that the end of the filament is not locked. So I'm just hoping that this end of the filament didn't go under another loop and it will not jam the filament during the printing. This is AMS unit on a P1 PCD printer. Texture PI sheet without any glue stick, but I'm cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol. In Bamboo Studio I am adding CMF file, which was prepared by the Bamboo Lab, because currently I don't have the profile for this filament. Let's see the different settings. 245 on the nozzle, and uh, only 70 on the bed, and 21 cubic millimeters per second is the flow rate, which is huge for PTG filament. And here you can see the cooling data. And this will be a 36 minutes Venti. This is the printing with the red version. And always I'm checking the bed adhesion, which in this case could be a little bit better. The bench looks great from each side, so this is not a problem, especially for 36 minute bench from Bamboo Lab. I raised the bed temperature to 80 degrees Celsius, this is the printing with the blue one. And now the bed adhesion is great. I have to wait until it cools down, but even then it sticks good, so I have to flex the textured PI sheet. And then I started to print it with the test objects, all test objects printed at once. And here with the flexing it was easy to remove the objects. For some test objects I am printing from PLA Basic and this is PTG Basic. And now I can start the testing. The creep test the deformation under the constant load which will be 1.25 kilograms. Sixteen fifty three. Sixteen sixty three similar. Seventeen sixty six more deformation. 1499. This is after one day, the biggest deformation I can see on PETG Basic. Between these two, very similar deformation, but slightly more creeping on the red version. And this time I will not measure them every day, only after eight days when I'm back from my traveling vacation. Well, after exactly 9 days, without overnight ventilation in this room and air condition, the max temperature was 32 degrees Celsius, and this is too much for the PLA, I can see a biggest deformation on this material. Between these PTGs, the basic has the biggest deformation, and the smallest is on the blue one. Now let's remove the load. After 10 minutes, the permanent deformation on PTG filaments is very similar, but of course on PLA it is huge. 
it is 5 in the morning because during the day it will be 35 degrees Celsius and I like to do these measurings around 20 degrees Celsius room temperature plus minus 5 degrees. Usually I wake up much later, it is very rare that I can see the sunrise. Tensile test with the horizontally printed test objects and the screen you can see the average values. This is the blue version. Mm, similar brake load. And now this is the layer adhesion test. These test objects are printed in vertical position. This is again the blue version. And now the shear stress. These are horizontally printed test objects. And now the same shear stress but with the vertically printed objects. Here the layer adhesion is very important. And here I will also include the PLA and PTG basics to extend that database from the pattern supporters. Side by side all four test objects. And now the torque or twist test. These are horizontally printed test objects. I'm measuring the torque at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. And these are printed in vertical position, so the layer adhesion is important here. And I have here four test objects. Here you can see them side by side. 0.7. Interesting to see that horizontal I can make one and a half twist and with the vertical they broke immediately. Three point bending test and here you can see all loads placed but I will place them one by one and I'm measuring the deformation after 130 and 60 seconds. Position of the camera is not really the best but if I enlarge the image I can see the numbers and here you can see the load under 10 kilograms and you can see it constantly deforms. And after this they have some permanent deformation, uh, it is visible. The temperature test in the oven, but I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. This is a speed up time lapse video, and in both cases, they start with the deformation at approximately 64 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius, I stop the experiment, I remove this M10 nut as a small load, and for the filling, they are very similar. After a one minute only, I can even touch them. No difference between them in this test. And now the eyes of impact test with these notch test objects and a small disclaimer here. These results are not really comparable with the numbers from the company's data sheet from two reasons. Uh, the first one is that usually the companies are using the Sharpie impact test, which is a little bit different. There the test object is supported from two sides and the breaking energy is higher compared to the eyes of impact test. The second reason is uh, the geometry of my hammer. It's a little bit different. So these results are good to compare them with uh, those which I made in earlier videos using the same equipment. Actually, I bought our industrial impact testing machine. This is for the ISOD. And also in the box, I have the another one, which is digital, and it is able to measure the ISOD and the Sharpie impact test, but they are not prepared yet. And if you are following my earlier videos, in that case, you know that uh, the PLA basic is tougher material compared to the PTG basic, which is quite brittle. Let's see how this uh, AGF version performs here. Right. Zero position, blue. <laughs> Pity I didn't record it. From here to here, three point shot in both cases. The scale, zero position of the hammer, after breaking the red test object, the blue one. And if I measure everything from the zero position, this is the age to calculate the breaking energy. And from here we can see that the blue is a slightly tougher material, but in both cases they are very brittle compared to the PLA materials. And now the results, and this Excel table you can download from my techfund.com website, and as always these two lines will be added to that summary table from my Patreon supporters, so they can easily compare these results to those which I did in earlier videos, but even here I will include uh, some data for PTG basic and PLA basic from my earlier videos. Let's start with the creep test, and I already mentioned that I measured only on day 0, 1 and uh, 9 days, and uh, even here we can see some interesting results. The PLA basic has the smallest SAR deformation, but thanks to that bigger room temperature, it has quite a lot of deformation after nine days. Between PTG filaments, the PTG basic has the biggest deformation. Between the red and blue, uh, we can see the similar SAR deformation, but after nine days, slightly more creeping with the red version. 
on 10 side tests here I included the data from my earlier videos and we can see that uh, the red and blue has very similar tensile strength uh, but they are better compared to the PTG basic and as always PLA is stronger in this test compared to the PTG on the layer adhesion test, uh, well, here we can see some difference between red and blue, and this will be confirmed uh, even later on the other tests. On shear stress with the horizontally printed test objects, uh, we can see that uh, only here the PTG basic was better compared to the HF versions, and uh, these two are very similar. On the vertically printed, where the layer adhesion is important, well, again, we can see that the red one has a slightly better layer adhesion compared to the blue one, but in both cases, they are better compared to the PTG basic. On the three point bending test, well, this is a deformation under these loads after 30 seconds, but what is more interesting is this graph. Because here uh, we can see the deformation after 1, 30, and 60 seconds under these loads. And uh, smaller values are better, so the PLA basic is the best, but this was only on the room temperature. Uh, PTG basic has uh, more start deformation, but this is very interesting, uh, the deformation under 10 kilograms. So here we can see less creeping from the PTG basic, but the HF version has uh, more deformation under this load. So it is very important with the HF version, don't go with the too big loads for this material. On a torque or twist test with the horizontally printed test objects, this is the load at 90 degree angle and here we can see that uh, the HF version is better compared to the PTG basic and here slightly stronger is the blue version. On the vertically printed test objects, again where the layer adhesion is important, um, no big differences between PTG materials but slightly better the red one, so again it was confirmed that the blue has a slightly weaker layer adhesion. On the ISO impact test, uh, interesting results again, uh, the red and blue, no big difference between them, but they are slightly better compared to the PTG basics, but not much, these are very brittle materials compared to the PLA. Now this PLA basics has extremely good breaking energy, usually the PLA breaks around, let's say, 6, 7, 8 uh, kilojoule per square meters. And on a temperature test, again, uh, very similar temperatures, uh, but uh, slightly better compared to the PTG basic. And now quick conclusions for the end. Well, looking at the results, I can see in most cases the HF has better mechanical properties compared to the PTG basic. And also it can be even printed on double flow rate and the printability is great. So I completely agree with Bamboo Lab that they will discontinue the PTG basic material. For example, I don't agree with them that they discontinued the PLA tough material, which has great layer adhesion. It was uh, separately explained in a video where I tested all Bamboo Lab PLA filaments. And just a quick reminder for the end, if you like this kind of videos and you would like to get a notification, you should click the notification bell button too, because in most cases, the notification is not sent if you are only a subscriber. And recently somebody explained me why. YouTube did some changes in the algorithm, and if somebody is subscribed to too many channels, in that case, uh, probably between them, there are many with a million subscribers, they have the advantage, and my videos, for example, cannot fit in most cases on that start page. So that's why it is important. If you like to get a notification, click the notification bell button too. That will be it from my side. Thank you for watching and happy printing.